Dignitary stylish represent for Dan Sinclair and unruly Cooley. Spagaluba Laba, Spagaluba Laba, Spagaluba, Spagaluba Laba, Spagaluba Laba. When them just said me come, I just said me come, 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 just said me come, I just said me come. Let me tell them, no box juice, me say no dry, bun, no matica, me say no mat, no, no ebro in that, me say no white, run, let's have some fun. Please like, subscribe, and share. Dancing Claire. Check him out. Check him out. 2022, we're back. Don Sinclair and I'm Ruli Cooley here at Soundwave Studio. Right now, we're here with none other than... Dignitary Stylish. Never penny-wise and pound foolish. Keep it positive. <laughs> right, I'm going to fire some quick questions, so some quick answers will be good. Mm -hmm. So what age did you get into music and who inspired you? Oh. There's a lot of people inspire me, but I was in music from I was like 11 years old. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people who inspire me. Daddy Uroy, mm -hmm. Big Youth, I Roy, Lone Ranger, Rankin Trevor, Nicodemus, mm -hmm. General Echo. Wow, the list you goes have some on. Big you... names there, eh? Yeah. Okay. So can you just describe your music and, um, you know, how would you describe it? And do you write your own stuff as well? Yes, I do write my own stuff and write for other artists. Oh, and my okay. music, it's about reality, mm -hmm. you know, teaching someone so they can, you yeah. know, open their eyes and realize and be wise. Okay. So my music is about motivation. Lovely. So is there any art, particular artist you want to mention that you've written for? It'd be good to know. Well, I, I write song for Daniki. I write song for Admiral Tibet. Okay. I write song for Light Emmins. I write song for Sugar Miner, Rest in Peace. I write songs for Tristan wow. Palmer. I write right. songs for a few artists yeah. I don't even remember, but okay. I do write a lot nice. of songs. Okay. So, what was the first single you ever bought? Ever bought? Mm. Oh. Growing up, you know, the first the thing first you might single, have saved your little money. The first, and yeah, I saved my little <laughs> money. And the first single I ever bought is He who put his chest in vanity and got no love for humanity <laughs> shall fade away. That was my first single that right. I bought. Okay. Saved my money and yeah. bought. Nice, a good choice there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what school did you attend? I mean, what area, what part did you grow up? And what are your memories, your happy memories? Oh, of well, up? my school was 21 Albert Street, Franklin Town. And my school was Clan Right. Also Franklin Town School. Because okay. I'm from the Dunkirk area, Kingston. Kingston, yeah. nice. Okay, do you have good memories, happy memories of growing up in school? Yes, I do. I do have a lot of good memories, yeah. you know? Good friends, nice yes. teachers. Nice teachers. What was your favorite Good one, subject? bad one. Oh yeah, we all have them. Good and bad. <laughs> what was your favorite sad. subject in school? Oh, my favorite subject was English. Okay. I never loved maths. Right, but right. English no. was Nor my do favorite. I. Yeah. <laughs> Nor do I. <laughs> all right, so what is your favorite album by another artist? Oh, my favorite album. I would have to say my favorite album it's a, it was a Bob Marley and the Whalers. Okay. Peter Touch, mm -hmm. Bonnie Whaler and Bob Marley. You know, that was one of my favorite albums. But I got many favorite albums. Mm -hmm. But just, you know, something that as a little kid, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So did you start on a sound system? or? Did yeah, you, I do. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. And what sound was that? Oh, my sound system was Platinum. Right. And King Larry. You know, it was like. In my area, you know, we were like an upcoming artist mm -hmm. and we want to make a break. So, you know, we couldn't just jump on the big sound. So we, yeah. we started out with the small sound, yep. you know, try to make a name on the small sound, mm -hmm. Platinum in Gagra Park, St. Catherine. Yeah. Because I, you know, leave town, Kingston, to live in Portmore. Right. And Portmore. it was in the early 80s. Yeah. yeah. Early 80s. We have, you know, Junior Frost, my DJ right. brother, rest in peace. Okay. Professor Nuts, yep. lecturer, one away, Steve Knight, wow. Jan Steele. Right. We are all, you know, coming up in the business as a young artist, mm -hmm. DJing and some local sound. Not no big sound. Yeah, yeah. But small sound, yeah. trying to make our name and the sound system also trying to do the same. Yeah, okay. So if you could collab or work with any artists out there, who would that be? Oh, God, that would be so many artists. I would like to just, collab. Just, yeah. I would like to collab with Lone Ranger. I'd like to collab with Big Youth. I would like to collab with 
you know. Why Lone Ranger? Being, Why Lone Ranger? Because he's my teacher and I, I learned yeah. a lot from him. Yeah, yeah. Growing up as a kid, a I want to, I, I did want to be the next Lone Ranger growing up. Yeah, yeah. You know, because he's a great if you check artist. the Studio One uh -huh. selection, I don't think no artist can write a rhythm, especially a Studio One rhythm mm. like Lone Ranger. There's none. Wow. Wow. Show me any yeah. artist who can sit down on a rhythm and write it like Lone Ranger. Mm. When it comes to Studio One, yeah, and Studio One is one of the, you know, top lead. Yeah, yeah. One of the best of the best when it comes to reggae music. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, in your professional journey, what's your most memorable moment or time? <laughs> My memorable time is when I came in the business in 1981 and put in the work. Mm -hmm. And when 1986 come around, I get a monster hit, worldwide hit, wow. which is Just Send Me Come. Right. So that was like, I never know it would happen, but I still believe that mm. I was going to do something mm. progressive, something good in the music, wow. but I never know it would worldwide, international. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So it just shows, you know, you dream big, you know, and you achieve big. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, so have you, other than doing music, have you ever done any other job? Yeah, I do business. Okay. I invest open bars and restaurants. Okay. Yeah. All right. And is that in the local area? Yeah, in Portmore. In Portmore. Yeah. Okay. All right. So when you're performing and you're out there on the stage, mm -hmm. do you ever get nervous? And how do you deal with that? Have you oh. ever had a block or a memory yeah. sort of a yeah. moment where you've just forgotten your lyrics? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? Because guess what? Sometimes when you, especially when you have to go on stage, when another artist just burn down the place, yeah. <laughs> fire up the crowd, yeah. and your time next. So you're wondering if you're going to do as good as it's the artist as, before. Yeah, the pressure's on, you, eh? The pressure's on, oh, the but pressure's what pressure's you got to do, you got to focus <laughs> yeah. and you, yep. and what you want to do, mm -hmm. and what you have to bring to the table. Yeah. So, yeah, I do get nervous at times, but you know what? I still focus. always have my faith yeah. and my confidence. I never try to lo lose it or mm -hmm. lose it. Yeah. Because I always listen to Marcus Garvey and he said, you know, if, if you have confidence in yourself, you mm. can win before the race starts. Mm. But if you're in doubt, you lose before the race starts. Start. Yeah. So that always motivates me mm -hmm. to keep my composure. Yeah, yeah. You know, and not okay. to freak out about what others do. Yeah. But try to do you and what you have to bring to the table. Or, you that's know. nice, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, through your journey, mm -hmm. you know, everyone goes through ups and downs and, you know, you look back sometimes and think, I wish I'd done that differently. Mm -hmm. You know, is there anything particular that you look back and think, if I went back to that time, I'll mm -hmm. do it differently? Oh, there's a lot of things, you know, because growing up, you know, the more you live is the more you learn. Yeah. But when you're young, you're going to make a lot of mistakes because yeah. we're a human being. Of course. So there's a lot of things that if I have the experience now, mm -hmm. I would do it different when I was young. Yeah, anything particular? Uh, not really, but you know, like your friends, you have your friend and they may say something to you and you may, you know, be too aggressive or take it yeah. personal. Mm -hmm. You know, you, if you're at my age now, mm -hmm. I would step back and say, you know what, just, just, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. So what would your advice be to a new up and coming artist, someone that's starting new, a young person? What would your advice be to them? My advice is to the young upcoming artists, just stay focused, be positive in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's all about, you know, sharing, caring, yeah. and, and listen yeah. to the elders. Because yeah. if you don't respect the foundation, mm -hmm. then you're not gonna know where you're heading. Because yeah, you have to learn from the foundation. That's right. So you have to be humble yeah. and let go that ego. Because yeah. we, we all have ego, Yeah. yeah. you know? but. You just have to know when to step back and you know and listen to the elders. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you good learn advice. a lot. That's some you good advice. It's some good advice. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So my final question to you mm -hmm. is, what can the people out there expect from you in the future? Oh, in the future, it's a lot of good things because um, I just released a song last year with me and Luciana. Uh -huh. Life is on the line. Luciana, the Jam Messenger feature in Dignitary Stylish. That was my latest. You can check out the video on YouTube. Life is on the line. Luciana featuring Dignitary Stylish. And then we have a new one coming up again with Luciana, Dignitary, and Kato Wider from out of Ghana. That one's going to be big. Right. It's, the music name is Versus. Okay. Luciana, Dignitary Stylish, Kato Wider from out of Ghana. That one is coming up. 
that one is going to be big. And then I have some singles for myself coming up also. Yep. I have another EP to drop because I dropped an EP last year. Mm -hmm. And then I have another one coming up yep. by myself, you know. Nice. There Reload. There lots happening. Reload, yeah. Lots happening. That's brilliant. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So thank you so much for your time. Do you have a final message for myself, I'm Ruli Cooley and Don Sinclair for the works that we're doing? And thank you very much for having me. You know, thank I'm honoured yeah. to, you know, represent for Don Sinclair and unruly coolie. <laughs> so right here now, Dignitary is gonna say, which last but not the least, we want the peace mm. worldwide. We want the love and the unity, That's the right. sharing and the caring. Mm. You know, because honesty, my policy. Yeah. And I just wanna tell the people them that, let us all live together as one. Mm. Don't care where you're from. You know, don't matter your color, your class or what creed. It's all about togetherness, oneness, no stress, forever blessed, love and happiness, success and progress. Beautiful.